So tell me what brought you here and where'd you come from? I'm from Pittsburgh and... Pennsylvania, right? Yes. Okay. And my, my jaw would start spasming. It would just feel like it was unhinging and pushing over and I'd crack it back. Right. And, um, How long has that been going on? The first episode was in 1997 and then nothing again until 2012. But in between that time, my dentist said I had TMJ, he heard the clicking popping, gave me an NTI. I didn't use it as much because I wasn't feeling any pain or anything and I didn't have any more muscle spasms until 2012. Sure. And then that scared me. He had to give me muscle relaxers. Did the muscle relaxers help you? Not ultimately. It would help me sleep that night, but yeah. it didn't do anything beyond so that. So the pill would help temporarily wear off and then it's back again? Yes. Yesterday. Like before we did the treatment to now, what's the biggest difference for you? The tension through here. It just felt like yesterday I could feel it just it felt like cool it was so relaxed because there was a lot of tension that's through here it just felt constant pooling like all the time pretty much all that's the time. been going on for months and months mm -hmm. and I remember one specific episode where I, the cold like if I got cold outside yeah I would just start to shake and it would throw me immediately into like little tiny spasms like my jaw was just going eh. right. and I would get panicky and have to a muscle relaxer to get me calmed down because I thought it would go into a spasm but I was worried about like my disc my dentist said because I kept on going like this to try to relieve pressure that yeah. I was feeling he goes you're gonna destroy your disc doing that stop doing that and then I noticed that I always have my tongue pushed up against my teeth or yeah. even with wearing the NTI I would wake up biting down on the sides of my tongue sure and and then I noticed that pretty soon all the time I was walking around feeling like my tongue's always keeping my teeth separated for yeah. me. Now, now, yesterday we DTR'd you, and it's only been a day, but you told me a moment ago, a few minutes ago, that you're no longer shoving your tongue between the teeth. Is that fair? I'm not shoving it between my teeth. I still, I think I'm just doing it out of habit. I'm yeah. still, I still feel my tongue up there. Yeah. Like, but I don't know if that's just habit and that'll just go away as they start to relax. Sure. This has relaxed through here. So Feels what was so it like prior to yesterday when we did the treatment? Tight. Always very, tight? Always tight. There would be times I would go through periods where I'd be trying to read to my kids at night and I was talking like through clenched teeth, like yeah. the rabbit went through the bunny hole right? like that. And then I'd be like, I'm sorry guys, I can't talk anymore. I have to go to bed now. I would just be so drained. Yeah, and that would be towards the end of the day. Mm -hmm. My jaw's too tired. My jaw's too tired. I, I quit chewing meat. Yeah. I pretty much have been the past three months just yogurt, oatmeal. And when I ate, I would always chew on my right side. Here, usually when I first get up in the morning, I'm, t I'm popping an Advil. Because been, of? Because of the soreness. And the soreness this morning was not I there. didn't have any. Excellent. And you made mention Sounds also good. that you had some kind of a tingling sensation. Can you describe that this morning? But last night I woke up and I was tingling all through here. I thought, oh, where'd that come from? Usually mm -hmm. I was just feeling some in my eyes, so I didn't know if something was going on with that or if it was related to all this. But last night it was just Your whole scalp. my whole frontal scalp yeah. and down through, all the way across the top and down. Like a tingle? Tingle. Not a bad feeling, just unusual, right? Very unusual, yeah. Not painful? Not painful. Switch it around for a good three or four seconds. Zero to ten, zero is nothing, ten is horrible. What do you think? It doesn't bother me. I can feel the cold, sure. but it's not painful. So, give me a number. Zero is nothing, ten is horrible. Since I can feel it, I would say like a two or one or a two. Even. When you did the swish before you came in here and decided to fly in, Mm -hmm. with our swish test. I would say like six to seven. So that's pretty normal. So ice cream was out, iced tea, milkshakes, things like that. Oh, I'd find a way to eat them. <laughs> You'd probably take a straw to get past the tea, right? <laughs>